we're here with Kat Kramer here for Divine Design and Project Angel Food. Kat, you've been going through, oh, let's just say, a lot of celebrations this year with your dad's movies. Absolutely. We have another one coming up, the last one for the year. That's not to say there's not going to be more next year, but, um, you know, this year is his centennial. And I just had the fifth anniversary of Cat Kramer's films that changed the world, which was my contribution to the centennial. Because the film that I had features my father. It's a documentary called Fallout. And it couldn't be more relevant. It's all about nuclear war, you know, and what we're currently facing. And his film On the Beach that he made about the end of the world. So it was my way of bringing, you know, um, his legacy into my series. It always has followed in his footsteps, but I've never had a film that he was part of. And my mom is also interviewed in it. It's an incredible documentary. It's an Australian movie. It's playing right now in Australia, but I had the U.S. premiere. And Lily Tomlin, again, she came for my third one. You know, she's been involved more than anybody else, so she was one of the hosts. Uh, she introduced Dr. Helen Caldicott, who was the keynote speaker. And Helen is in the film, and when she read the book On the Beach and saw my dad's film, you know, back in 1959, that set her on her life's course. She was only 17 years old, and you know, decided to make this her life's work, and she's a, probably the leading anti-nuclear activist in the world. So, um, it was an amazing lineup, and and um, on the 14th, we're having a, uh, I wouldn't call it an auction, but it's like an exhibit of my father's memorabilia, some very rare memorabilia, and it's going to be at the Filmmakers Gallery in Long Beach. Um, December 14th all the way until January 31st. So the 14th is the kickoff. I'm going to be there with my mom. We're going to have a small reception. We're introducing guests who's coming to dinner. The Filmmakers Gallery, the two uh, gentlemen that own the gallery are big fans of that film. In fact, I think they're here tonight. <laughs> and they're the filmmakers of Teach Your Children Well, you know, the one that I did for the fourth installment of my series. And of course, I'm a big Project Angel Food supporter, as you know. So um, I wouldn't miss this opening night. You know, I would not miss the chance to come here and support what, the, what Project Angel Food does and what Divine Design represents, and also to shop. And you know, I remember before when we talked, Project Angel Food was so important to you that you actually were late for one of your events. What does it mean to you? It means so much, you know. And even when you hear the stories from the people that they take care of and that the volunteers give up their time, and I think it it gives back so much not only to the individuals who are suffering, who need the nourishment, who need the support but also to the volunteers, you know. And, yeah, I miss my dad's, um, the second one in his centennial kickoff was, I think, was the Defiant Ones, and um, I think it was the Wild One. That was the big thing. Yeah, I remember, very good memory, and I missed it that night. And Lou Gossett Jr., also, who was there that night, he came to my event, and he was also on the panel with Lily. We had a Rick O'Berry, you know, who's the star of The Cove, the activist Rick O'Berry, who is still you know, dealing with the dolphins being slaughtered, you know, it just still is life's work. Um, we had my mom on the panel, um, I moderated it, so it was really exciting to be able to have my mom on a panel. I'd never done, <laughs> never done that before. It was, and Donna Anderson, who made her debut in my dad's movie on the beach, and um, Heather Mayfield, who's the daughter of Neville Shute, who wrote the novel on the beach. So, um, yeah, this movie has won, like, all these awards right now. It won the Adam Award in Australia. It's up for an Aussie Oscar. I was just so blessed to be able to have it for the fifth anniversary. That's awesome. Well, we are looking forward to always following you and catching up with you, Kat. Where's the best place for people to catch up with you on the Internet? Well, uh, my website, Kat Kramer's Films That Changed the World .com. My personal website, KatherineKramer.com. My four Facebook pages. <laughs> Katherine Kramer, Kat Kramer, Kat Kramer's Films That Changed the World, and the Katherine Kramer Fan Club Group, and then on Twitter, and just, you know, um, check my websites, because that's the best way to reach me. And the sixth installment is coming up, so you better, I, I want to see you there. That's going to be really big. I think um, that would be the biggest one yet. I don't want to give, well, they've, they've all been uh, amazing, and each one of them were like my children, you know, it's... I don't have a personal favorite because they've all gotten the issues out there. The movies have been spectacular. But this one also has two of my dad's 
um, clips from two of his most prominent movies featured in it. So it's about to be announced, and I'll make sure you find out the date. We are, we are looking forward to seeing it. I'm so looking forward to shopping, but it's so great to see you tonight. This is great. Yeah. Thank you.